We're speaking with Dr. Priscilla Casola, and she's going to inform us about dysgraphia, which is something all teachers and families should know about. So what is dysgraphia? So dysgraphia is a fine motor deficit that results in problems in handwriting. Uh, so this is actually where we see it, and we typically see when kids start handwriting. Uh, by kindergarten or first grade. Now the disorder is a little bit more than that because it involves information processing so it's not only the physical act of handwriting is how the kids process information and how that information is converted into muscle actions. Um, so a child with dysgraphia will have uh, three main characteristics. So their handwriting is lower always. It's always less accurate. Um, so bigger in a way um, and also um, they need to use more of their capacity or more resources to perform the same task as a child who doesn't have this dysgraphia would uh, so they are more tired after they perform the handwriting task. Does it um, coexist with other conditions? Typically yeah so we hear a lot of the dysgraphia and dyslexia issue um, it could be ADHD as well, autism, some sort of speech disorders. Uh, language or visual spatial processing are typically involved with dysgraphia as well. What causes it or do people know? I don't think people know for sure. So it uh, looks like it's a neurological damage, but in all honesty, uh, when you look at the kids' brains, there's really nothing that comes out. It's mm -hmm. pretty much it's how the brain process information is not in the structure. Okay, and what can teachers do to help kids? Uh, so a lot of things actually, and. Uh, so, so first, kids have to show their work through handwriting most times, and uh, we it seems like we're moving away a little bit from handwriting, mm -hmm. and, but I don't think that's gonna happen like completely anytime soon. Mm -hmm. So, it's just like uh, so shorter assignments. That's the first thing. Uh, there's no need to write all that information. So typically, kids with dysgraphia have no cognitive impairment, and a lot of them are actually gifted. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, they can understand things, it just can't really show. Um, allow more time, so time constraint is always a big issue um, in kids with dysgraphia. So I was reading earlier that there is no um, consequences or social or emotional consequences to dysgraphia. That is not true. A child that is bright and understands that he or she cannot right and keep up with the work that other kids can is typically emotionally <laughs> sad or disturbed or frustrated about that right so why can't I do it and that's what I explain to the kids that I work with like it's not that you it's there's something is different in your brain um, so just so shorter assignments, allow more time, if possible, don't put any uh, time constraints. Mm -hmm. uh, less homework, um, homework is a big deal, the kids that I work with, homework is actually a forbidden word. Mm -hmm. Kids mm -hmm. freak out when they hear that word because of the how hard that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now, I would say allow other devices, so, uh, so the keyboard is actually recommended and most school districts will have keyboards that can come as an accommodation with a 504 plan mm -hmm. and so it is available. Uh, using voice recorders, mm -hmm. I, uh, one, uh, one of the children that I work with was allowed to use one mm -hmm. in Fort Worth. Um, so instead of um, spelling words, which is what the kids were working with, she would hear and or read it and then just uh, say the spelling of the word to a recorder and the mother would save it and send it to the teacher and mm -hmm. really if you think about it what's wrong with that that's mm -hmm. what the teacher wanted to mm -hmm. see the perfect spelling not mm -hmm. the handwriting mm -hmm. um, oh, it was for spelling tests yes okay yeah um, I, I guess you can do the voice recorder with other things too mm -hmm. I haven't explored as much 
Um, but the accommodations are pretty simple, so just the shorter assignments, mm -hmm. uh, no time constraints, uh, mm -hmm. and finding other ways like the keyboard, or the voice recording. Technology. Technology, Technology. Yeah. yes, absolutely. Okay, and then what kind of research is being done and what is your connection to dysgraphia? That's right, so dysgraphia is very specific to fine motor deficits that result in handwriting problems. So I work with developmental coordination disorder or DCD that is a broader version of dysgraphia. So it's handwriting balance and upper coordination mm -hmm. or problems in those capacities. Um, so in, in, it's very unusual to find a child with dysgraphia only, so it typically extends mm -hmm. to these other capacities, but what do we typically see is handwriting issues because it's required at school. Nobody requires that you have the perfect balance or, or perfect aiming and catching skills. Um, so my research focus on, uh, focuses on that. Um, I study how those kids represent spatial and movement actions and, and because their problem seems to be in the representation of the action and not in how they perform the action. So if you think about it, me, you, uh, we are actually planning actions all the time and using feedback to correct us, but we're not thinking about it. It's automatic kids with DCD will not have that ability. So not using feedback constantly or not representing the actions well will result in impaired actions. Okay. Um, so they can see that it's wrong, but they don't know how to correct it or mm -hmm. they don't know how to put the parameters together. Mm -hmm. And so my research has uh, found so far that actually kids do have this difficulty is pretty clear with some reaching actions. And even when you add spatial parameters that move, um, uh, move the perspective of the child from from their body to another point of reference, um, it still doesn't help. Like the farther you move from them, the harder it is for them to plan actions. Mm -hmm. And I'm still investigating oh, this, cool. and going deep into it. Oh, cool. Anything yeah. else you want to add? Uh, well, with uh, dysgraphia or DCD specifically, so one of the common mistakes is that, and I guess it could happen sometimes, but most times the kid is perceived as lazy, is not wanting to do the work, and uh, this is a big mistake. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge frustration for children, and I think that people really need to understand that there is something wrong. So if you were a teacher, um, what you should do when you, and it's very easy for a teacher to pick up very soon that the kid is, is falling, uh, is falling behind is, uh, let the parent know, ask if the problems extend at home, ask how homework goes, is it frustrating, um, observe how much effort they put into the handwriting, so does it require a lot of force, is the, is the grip okay, can you see the fine tripod or not? Maybe refer to the school occupational therapist and they can do assessments that can quickly identify what's going on. If it's really a problem and it typically is, they, it's, the accommodations are so simple but can make a huge difference in this child's mm -hmm. lives because let's face it, not being very good at handwriting will not be a problem in your life. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, yeah. you can be a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's common that doctors yeah. have that in writing, mm -hmm. but, uh, but the frustration, the anxiety, even mm -hmm. the bullying that That's can come good. with it, yeah. those are the things that really worry me. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we have, so in the Metroplex, there are people working with this. I do research specifically with this at UTA. Um, every school district will be uh, ready to accommodate those children, to test mm -hmm. them. So. They need help, so maybe before judging the child, maybe give them the benefit of the doubt. Have you know, have them tested, and then later on we can decide what what really is. Cool. So. And then the last question: Is there any handedness relationship, or is it both left and right-handed children? Mm -hmm. No research on that. I never read anything about okay. it, but that's an interesting question. Yeah. Just curious. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to yeah, ask that question. Yeah, I was wondering. Sometimes um, you hear about things about left-handedness being mm -hmm. a disadvantage, and I'm a lefty, so I was just curious. Right. Um, 
I, I don't it know. Matter, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll get back to you on okay, that. Cool. Now I'm curious. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. I think that's all I had. You're very welcome. So. Okay. Cool.